So we will find that signal to noise ratio, which is equal to one divided by square root of standard deviation is equal to 0 0.67, okay? This to calculate signal to noise ratio. Last one, if I want to calculate uniformity, okay? So if I want to calculate uniformity, you have to know that uniformity is equal to one minus maximum minus minimum divided by maximum plus minimum. Okay, now I have here five rows. Okay, five rows. Each one has maximum and minimum. Each one has maximum and minimum. Okay, using using the average value. Okay. For, I will calculate uniformity for each row. I will calculate the uniformity for each row, okay? Using this equation, okay, which will be 1 minus maximum. If we, if we see here, 11 minus, minus 13. That means positive 13, 11 minus 13, okay? We can calculate uniformity for the first row and after calculations uniformity for all rows for all for all rows okay we can take average okay and we can calculate uniformity all of them uniformity of all of them okay so uniformity for row number one plus uniformity for, for row number two three four five so divided by five we will get uniformity of all or uniformity for all slides, okay? Okay? That's for uniformity. And for uh, noise, and for signal-to-noise ratio, and for CT accuracy number. But if I want to measure, now, if I want to measure modulation transfer function, okay? Modulation transfer function using the phantom sharp image, highly sharp image, Okay, MBR. Okay, 2D. Okay. Layout. Okay. Using these line pairs. Using these line pairs. Okay using these line pairs that's called line pairs we'll do zooming make all okay these line pairs Okay, this line pairs. I will measure the standard deviation for every for each each group of this line pairs. This one group, second group, third group, fourth group, fifth group. Okay, I have five groups of line pairs, so I, I, I will measure the standard deviation for each one. Why? Standard deviation represent noise, represent resolution. Okay, after calculation of standard deviation for each one we can calculate the MTF curve. We can calculate the MTF curve. How can I do that? It's easy to measure ROI circle or square. Okay, to measure here. Here you will find the standard division is, okay, here you will find standard division. Here you will find Standard deviation for H one. Okay, you'll find that the values of I'm sorry.
here because I have a problem in this line bears because it was not completed not repaired well so the value of standard deviation here is less than the first the second one but it's normal to find the standard deviation value of this one because higher resolution, high resolution line bears we can see it so the aim the standard deviation here would be greater than second one will be greater than second one so I will do table like that standard deviation and line pairs per centimeters okay for the first one it will be around 680 second one 677 third one okay fourth one okay last one 155 okay so for line bears per centimeter how can i calculate line bears per centimeter okay it's easy to do that because i know the number of line bears because we know to calculate line bears per centimeters equal to line pairs per centimeter number of line pairs per distance okay number of line bears which is one two three four five five line bears one two three four five five line bears one two three. so five is constant with me and distance the distance the distance means the distance means from start of line bears to the end of line bears so here okay we can write 12.09 millimeters 12.09 millimeters that mean uh, 1.2 centimeters 1.2 centimeters okay 12.09 millimeter which mean 1.2 centimeters okay so now we can calculate the number of line bearers per centimeter for the first group okay first group which will be sorry 4.166 okay 4.166 4.166 okay for this and so on you will calculate for h1 okay you can you can calculate for h1 so you will you will write all numbers number of line bearer per centimeter for each group after that i have to value one for standard deviation and another one one for line bearers per centimeters okay so i will do something it's called normalization it's called normalization how can i do that by dividing all values here on the first one on the first one okay i will divide 4.1 divided by 4.1 it will be one no, i'm sorry not this value i will divide this value for standard deviation I will make normalization for the values of standard deviation okay for 680 to send six divided by 680 it will be one and we'll divide this value second value with the with the first value okay and third value with the first value and so on okay it's called normalization it's called normalization it's called normalization after that I will I will draw the relation between line bears per centimeters and standard deviation after normalization it will be mtf it will be mtf so after normalization after normalization i will draw the value between or draw the curve between line bears per centimeters okay and standard deviation which will be mtf okay after that I will get curve like that okay this value here is one which represent 100% which represent 100% so 
if I multiply all values here by 100 so it will be 100% so at 10% it's easy to find how what's the number of line bears per centimeter at 10% to check the machine for MTF calculation okay so this again I will measure here all the standard deviation for all groups okay and write in the table okay after that I will measure line bears per centimeters using number of line bears which is 5 is constant value and distance for each group I will measure the distance for each group okay 1 2 3 4 5 I will measure this distance okay and substitute the value of distance in the in the equation to get the line bears per centimeters okay and for each group this distance will be different okay for first group the distance is not like the second and so on okay so after that i will measure line bears per centimeter for each group okay and write it in the table okay after that now you have line bear per centimeter and you have standard deviation so I will do normalization. Normalization means that you will divide each value in standard deviation value, okay, by the first one, by the greater one, okay, to convert all values here from 0 to 1, from 0 to 1, okay. 680 will be converted to 1, which is divided 680 to 600, divided, to, uh, divided by 680 will be 1. And... 677 okay divide by 680 will be oh point nine nine okay 666 divided by 680 oh point nine seven okay 413 so each one here each value will be divided by the first one to make normalization or it will be 0.6 third last one 155 it will be 0.22 okay 0.22 now i have values from 0.2 to 1 or point two to one. That's for MTF, which representing the MTF. Okay, and for line bear centimeters. Okay, I can measure all values for line bear centimeters. How can I do that? Okay, here I will calculate the distance for each group. Okay, for the second group, I can measure the distance. Nine point eight eight. Okay, so. 5 divided by 9.88 or uh, or it, it will be uh, it will be 0 0.9 centimeters okay okay 9.88 9.88 millimeters if i want to convert it to centimeter it will be 0 0.988 centimeters okay so it will be 5.10 okay 5 point one zero good third one i will measure eight point one so it's equal to oh point eight one three divide five by oh point eight six point one seven six point one seven okay so for group number four okay eight point uh, uh, five point eight which is zero point five okay equal eight point five zero Okay, for last one, eight 
5.03 which is 0.5 so now this is the num number of line bearish per centimeter for each group last one is 9.4 okay so now I have two relation I have to uh, draw the relation between lamb number of line bears over centimeters and MTF or standard deviation for standard deviation values I have to do normalization okay and for line by bear per centimeter I have to calculate it okay as, as I show for you okay now it is now to draw a curve to draw a curve between the relation between MTF from 0 to 1 the higher value is 1 which represents the first group and for line pairs per centimeters okay line pairs for centimeters okay so I will draw this curve which representing the MTF and at 10 percent 10 percent 10 percent okay which mean 1 uh, sorry which mean 0.1 okay 10% which means 0.1 it's easy to calculate the number of line pairs per centimeter for this value to check machine for MTF calculations okay okay it's clear you now we can calculate it yes so now for this